Good morning and welcome to Washington National Cathedral on this Tuesday, January the 3rd. I'm Rose Duncan Cannon for worship and we are so pleased that you decided to join us this morning for the service of prayer and reflection. Behold, the dwelling of God is with mankind. He will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. Let us pray. Christ, born for us, Son of God, given for us, help us to know you, to worship you, and to serve you this day. Amen. Hear these words from a portion of Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. Almighty God, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decree that he had given them. The reading comes from the Gospel of John, the first chapter, beginning at the 29th verse. The next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who ranks ahead of me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, he on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the chosen one. Today's gospel is the encounter between John the Baptist and Jesus. When John sees Jesus, he exclaims, Look, there is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. It is he of whom I said, After me will come a man who ranks ahead of me because he was before me. John then confesses that he had not recognized Jesus as the Lamb of God. Jesus and John had known each other from birth. While Jesus and John were cousins, it was in this moment, though, that the Holy Spirit impressed upon John to declare who Jesus was to the world for potentially the first time with this testimony. I saw the Spirit descend and rest on someone. It is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen for myself and I have testified, this is God's chosen one. Many of us know about Jesus but do we believe and confess his identity with the boldness of John? On this 10th day of Christmas, as we continue to celebrate God's greatest gift of love in the incarnation, while much of the world has moved on, I invite you to spend some time to search your heart and your mind and ask, do I recognize Jesus? And how do I confess that Jesus is the Lamb of God through my life? Amen. Let us now offer the prayers of our hearts to God. That this day and all our days may be full of your praise, we pray to you, O Lord. That you will keep us this day without sin, we pray to you, O Lord that we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, 
O Lord, that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to the glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and for all whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God through Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill and make you partakers of his divine nature. And the blessing of God, Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you this day and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>